Now I know it's only one part, but uh, the the theory is that you're you're going to massage yourself, right? All the strokes come back to your heart. Do with me. We'll just do we'll do our arms and our legs. So starting at your wrist or even your fingertips, and you're just bringing it up and back to your heart. Kind of this energy. You can even be mindful and think of this kind of loving energy that you're bringing to your body. Your Oh, you do. That's interesting. Yeah, I like it. It. All right. and you go to the other side. You know, knowing that your body is your most precious possession. There's nothing you own more important. And maybe you know, and I'm just saying this. I'm not. Uh, I don't know what people do, but you know, sometimes they're not as as good as we should be, or as nurturing as we should be to our body. Culture. You know, it's so important to us. It's kind of the edge of your chair, and you can stretch one leg out, and then again, you're just gonna, you know, you would do this maybe in your bed. Um, the strokes come back towards your heart, you know, and they do with oil. And you can kind of pick an oil, go to the other side. My husband would never ever even touch oil, or put it even near his skin, he hates it. So it's not for everybody, but you know, just a, kind of a thought of self massage and yeah. Yeah. And then we'll do our hands, we'll just rub them together. And then don't forget the top. Right in between your fingers. So let's take a couple breaths. Seated up nice, straight, and tall. The breath. The drive out and up. <clears throat> and as you exhale, just let it go. Get a nice deep breath in. And out. Last one. And out. A little sigh if you can manage that in your mask. Okay, so arms out to the side. Give yourself a nice big the shoulders are on the side. Taking care of ourselves today. And then out, and then opposite arm on top. Give your shoulder a massage. And release. Let's take the arms out to the side and press through the heels of your hands so the fingers are looking up. It's a good stretch. And then draw your fingertips down and roll them under. And then again, you the heels of your hands. And then down and reaching back, stretching your back. And last one, press press. And then down and And then we'll give them a little shake. How about we take our hands together, interlace your fingers, and press. And then we'll inhale it up. And release the fingers out and down. And again, together we'll interlace our fingers. See if you can do it in the opposite manner. So we all have this default mode we go to. If you can switch it up. This is all on top. It feels a little funny, I know. Inhale it up. This time, let's add side to side. We can keep those sit bones grounded. And then we'll go up and out. Back to default, we'll press. And inhale it up, side to side. And let it go. This time, we'll reach to the, the poles of your chair. Open your chest. And then out in front, opposite thumb this time. And press. Inhale it up, side to side. And then out, 
reach to the back of your chair, open your chest, and release. Certainly, if you have to drink water or roll your neck, you need to. <laughs> okay. Let's come to the edge of our chair and we'll stretch one leg forward, press through the heel and then to the other side. Just warm it up a little bit. And then seated nice and straight and tall. Let's take one knee to your chest and give it a little hug. And then the other knee to your chest and give it a little hug. Let's go back to the first knee and we'll give it a little hug. And with your hand on your knee, let's just open it up a little bit. See how that feels. Legs are heavy. And give it a little squeeze and let it drop. Other side, more roughly. Hold it with one hand and just open it a bit. Give it a little squeeze and then let it drop. Let's do a forward bend. So arms down by your side. Open those shoulders, up, down, and back. And you can think by using the arms. So out and up. And you can look up there. And then as exhale, we'll kind of scoop the hands and arms down into the forward bend. And when you're ready to take your next breath in, start to walk your hands back, up, your shins, and knees, to seated. All right, sit up and time. Here we go. All in up. And then halfway we can do cactus pose and then we'll scoop down. If you start to breathe in, we'll walk the hands up and over. And come out of the seat. Let's do it one more time. Hold for a breath in between. We will add to our forward bend. Here we go. So, out and in. And cactus and scooping down. This time, as you inhale the breath, you lift up the right arm or out to the side. So, it's going to depend on your neck, your shoulder. And then we'll bring it back down. And then inhale back to seated. Other side. Out and up. And the cactus. And then all the way down. This time, left arm out to the side. And exhale down. We will inhale and up those knees. Up and over. Okay, last one. And then out and up. And then exhale back this, scooping all the way down. Then grab right arm out and up. And then inhale left arm out and up. And exhale. And inhale, walk your hands up and over. Just hold for a breath here. Nice and low in your belly. You can even do a little out of the side. The exhale. Oh, maybe keep your breath in. And let it out with okay. oh. a exhale down, let it out. Okay. Ah. How does it feel so good to do that? It's a long day. Okay. So let's stand up. Okay. 
I'm going to place my chair at one end of the mat. And stand behind it. You know what? I think I'd rather back up and step into it rather than away from it. Stand behind the chair. And we'll come into the mountain pose so your feet are nice and grounded over your toes. And then work that energy all the way up. So nice strong legs, but knees never walk. You are lifting up and out of your center and those shoulders come up and on your back. And a little squeeze of the shoulder blades and then release the effort. And just take a moment to assess how this feels. Let's place our hands on our hips and with your next breath in, we're going to step forward with the right foot. So we'll begin with nice straight legs and we're going to bend from your hip. You just place your hands on the chair. So this is just great leg stretch, right? Nice deep stretch. Right, you feel it all the way up into your hip. Try not to press back through the knees, right? You do that, you tend to do that. So keep a tiny little micro bend. Maybe. And then ease up. And we'll walk those feet together. I'm going to come back a bit. And then we're coming to mountain again. Everything that that means is so connecting through my feet, and out, shoulder, come back and down. We're doing those squeeze, beginning of the mountain Let's take our hands on our hips and we'll do a big step forward with the left foot. Okay, nice straight leg. We're going to move from the hip. And just a good stretch here. Feel it all the way up into your hip. Hamstrings, calves. And then we'll ease up, coming away from your chair, and then we'll walk those feet together. Okay. Place your hands, your fingers on the chair, and we'll walk away into the downward dog. So same thing here. Try not to press back in your knees, but put a micro bend in your knees and feel the stretch in your shoulder back. Hamstrings and calves. And as you take the next breath in, you'll start to move away from the floor and walk to the back of your chair. So let's use our breath to come in and out of down the dog. Beginning the mountain. Nice deep breath in, and then as you exhale, we'll walk away to downward dog. When you start to need that inhale, lift and use that inhale to come up, walking back towards your chair. And again, the exhale, walking away. Let's do it one more time. Inhaling, lifting. And coming out of downward dog one last time. Walking into downward dog. Let's use our next inhale to come back into our mountain pose. Let's turn to the side of my chair here. And hold those my feet nice and wide. And if you look down and you notice maybe your toes are out further than your heels, well, that's what your hips are talking to you. And that's what you find. So they say your hips are pointing in the same direction as your toes. If your toes are pointing forward, your hips are nicely in line. If your toes are pointing out to the side a bit, then they're just open a bit, and that's okay. Take the shoulder and the back. 
right arm here, I'm going to inhale it right next to my ear, and then I'm going to use the left hand to exhale down over the whole right side. Inhaling up and then top of those fingers. And then as you exhale, come into that side stretch. See if you can slow your breath down. So you can feel everything being stretched. Feel your feet grounded and supporting you. And then the next time you come up, we'll exhale. Put to the other side. So left arm up to the ear. Exhale, the right knee down. Inhale, come up. Switch up to those fingers. And exhale. Walk the feet together and roll over the shoulders. Okay. Let's turn to the back of the chair again. And we'll stuff the right foot into warrior pose. So hands on your hips and take a step forward with your right foot and backwards with your left foot. Then notice your hips. You want them to be nicely balanced, not to one side or the other. So let's begin with our shoulders. So we'll use the breath to move in and out of warrior and go like this. So inhaling out and up. And at the same time, then that flow of the knee. And the exhale brings the arms down and makes the legs straight. So let's do it five times. See if you can really slow it down and feel what's happening. Here we go. No need to keep up with me. Use your own breath. Okay, getting ready for the last one. Let's hold this for a breath or two. And on the next exhale, the arms come out and down, the legs straighten, the walkers feet together. Let's place the hands on the hips again. This time, left forward, left foot forward, right foot back. I left my hands on my hips here, just to kind of regulate where, where they're going. And take those shoulders up, down, and back. we we'll use the in-breath to come in. And the exhale to come out. To your own breath. And the next time you exhale, arms up and down and legs straight. With your hands on your hips, open your feet and just keep your heels to the back. Let's 
Try a chair pose. Let's do it behind the chair. And it goes like this. So standing postures create a lot of heat. When you're breathing, your throat gets dry. So make sure you're taking care of yourself and taking some water. Okay, chair pose. Every once in a while on Facebook, I see these squat challenges. Has anybody ever seen those? You know, you work up to like 100 squats in a day. Oh, and it's, oh my God, I forget what it's in But chair is a squat. So not only is it really good for the strength of your legs, <laughs> your quads, um, it's, it's a nice stretch too, and it's a kind of a hip building, right? Okay, so it begins in mountain. And I like to inhale the arms up first, and then move into the chair. So there are lots of ways to do it, but we'll try this way. So inhale, arms up. I like my arms facing down. And then you're just going to sit in your imaginary chair. Now what happens is sometimes we're too forward or too back. But think about really balancing the weight of your foot. And then we'll inhale up and exhale down. Beautiful. So the breath in between. Inhaling up. Exhaling. Chair. And out. Let's do three more using your breath. Inhale up and exhale down. Let's do two more. And last one. Hold for a breath. Now, chair can also be done with the arms all the way up, right? So it's a little more intense. We'll do three of those and see how that works. <laughs> so we inhale the arms out and up. And exhale your squat. Feel the weight in the heels, right? Really take advantage of those when it's deep breath. Feel the weight in your heels. Chest up. Last one, here we go. See if we can hold it this time for a breath. In. And out. Not easy. You feel that energy kind of moving out you know, pulling it up. It's warming you up. It's going to give you energy for your Saturday. <laughs> you know, I have a whole list of chores waiting for me. Okay, let's take the energy down, right? Take it up and take it down. So let's come onto our hands and knees. So hands and knees. Set yourself up into a table pose. I would say, um, you know, a table, you're gonna have lunch on your table, you're gonna set coffee cups on your table. So make your back go nice and straight. You don't wanna round it. You don't wanna settle it in. You want it to be nice and flat. So here we are in our table. Stretch your right leg back. Come up onto the toes. And then when you're ready, we'll go ahead and lift up that right leg. Point the toes away. And as you exhale, we're going to bring the knee in and under and toward your nose. You can even draw your nose toward your knee. And again, stretch it out. On the inhale and exhale. And bring it in. One last time, we're stretching it away. And bring it in. And then let it rest on your mat. 
back into the table, other side, stretch the left leg out, come up onto your toes, lift it and point the toes away, exhale, draw it in. Inhale, stretch it away, and exhale, in. Last one. And release the knee. Let's press back into child's pose. So bottom to heels. So in child's pose, we're looking for your bottom to come down close to your heel. We're looking for the rounding of your spine. So if your head is down and your bottom is up, then draw your bottom down and support your head in some way. Like a brick. I like to use my fists. And just breathe into your belly nice and deep. Remember, your diaphragm is a muscle. And so right now we're working that muscle. Okay, let's lift up into table again. Just take a moment to look at your hands. Make sure there's lots of space between your fingers. Your big middle fingers are pointing forward and the insides of your wrists are looking at each other. So they're not rotated out, but rotated in. Okay, so let's stretch the right leg away, come up onto your big toe, and we're just gonna glide it out to the side. You don't have to come real high. And then around to the other side. Put a little bend in your knee. That'll take the heat out of your back. In your knee. Mm -hmm. And then bend the knee and we'll come back to the table. Stretching out that left leg. Come up on the big toe and we'll draw those semicircles out and up. Down and around. Keep a little bend in the knee. Keep those joints nice and safe. And then we'll bend the knee. Coming back into table. Let's hold for a breath here. So nice deep breath into your belly. Let it out with an audible sigh. <sighs> Okay, let's try a little balancing pose here. So we're gonna stretch the right leg out and onto my toes. And then the left arm, I'm gonna lift it right up next to my ear. You can stay right here. This is called a cat stretch. I'm not sure why I <laughs> see the cat do this. So you lift your right leg, point the toe. It balances your weight on the left side. So right leg, left arm, and then bend and bring it back to table. Left leg, stretch it out. Right arm right up next to your ear. Inhale, that left leg up, point the toes and reach. And when you're ready, bend the knee, bend the elbow, and we'll press back into child's pose. Again. Oh, that's okay. I'm not gonna use that music here. Let's stretch those arms out in front. And come into child's pose. At least it's nice spring. Yeah, I like the front feet. Me too. <laughs> and 
And when you're ready, walk yourself back into the rock pose or the high wheel. Okay. So let's let's sit back into Dandasana. Stick pose, back pose. Now this is ideal if you have a couple of blankets to sit on. <laughs> Even a couple of um, yoga blocks. We'll do our best today. So if you're grounding and you're having a hard time making this kind of posture, then ease up. You get some bends in the knee. It takes the heat out of your hips and your back. You can always sit in a chair too. All right, so let's open up the feet. <laughs> we'll open those heels. Keep your hands in the middle. Maintain that nice tall posture. And we're going to rotate the body over the right leg. <clears throat> let's put a hand on either side of the knee. And then gaze is that your big toe. Pull your belly in, keep your sit bones grounded. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sometimes when you move to one side, you'll feel it lift. See if you can keep it grounded. And that's, it's, uh, it comes from your abdomen, right? Nice and tight. That's the floor. That's not me. Okay. And then we'll ease up and come to the center. We're doing some very gentle stretching here. If anything bothers you, then take a time out. Other side, torso over the left leg now, a hand on either side of the knee. My gaze is to the toe. And we'll ease up. Hands in the center, simply bring the soles of your feet together. It's called. <clears throat> Padakanasana or cobbler's pose. And we're looking just to kind of open those hips. Hips are tricky. You get so tight. Yogis believe that the emotions are stored in the hips. And for a lot of people, just don't want to let go. Okay, let's bring the knees together. And we'll stretch the legs out in front. And we'll come all the way down onto our backs. All the way down. So when you're down, Take a moment to assess. Flatten out your shoulder blades. Notice your bottom and how your back, the lowest part of your back, your sacrum is hitting the floor. You want it to be nicely grounded. So let's bend the knees and just lift your hips for a moment so your bottom lifts and kind of flatten out your sacrum. And when you have it grounded, you should have this nice little pocket that you could reach your hand into just above your sacrum. So let's take your right knee into your chest and we'll stretch the left leg in. And then release the right knee. We'll take the left knee into your chest. Hug it and stretch 
the right leg away. And release it. Let's place both feet on the floor. And we're going to walk your feet nice and wide. Walk them out to the edges of your mat. And with your hands on your belly, we'll just drop one knee and then the other to the center. This reminds me a lot of your windshield wipers. Slow it down so you get to feel everything the whole way through. And when your legs go to the left next time, just let them both be heavy and stay on the left side. Given that your knees are bothering you. Inhale the knees up and we'll draw them to the right side and just let them go. Let's inhale the knees up again. We'll walk the feet together and then stretch them out nice and long. Okay, so Let's take uh, a moment to kind of flatten out your shoulder blades again. What happens is your chest is nice and open. And that probably changed the way that your low back is connected. So let's bend the knees and lift your bottom and just ground down through your sacrum. Right, you want to feel <clears throat> grounded in the middle, so not all the way at the top. Not all the way at the bottom, but right in the center. And then we'll stretch those legs long. Okay, let's bend <clears throat> the left knee and place the left foot on the floor. And we're going to point through the toes of your right foot. And then you're going to lift that leg at least as high as your left knee. So the toes are pointed when you lift and then press through the heel when you lower. So we'll do that about 10 times. So pointing the toes and lift, press through the heel and lower. Making nice strong legs here. Just be mindful of your hip and what's happening in there. Keep a little bend in the knee if it feels like it's too much to have that straight leg. After a while, that leg starts to get heavy. Let's see if we can let it go and just kind of work through it. Let's do one more. And then bend the right knee and place the foot on the floor. Now you have one to compare to the other. So notice one hip versus the other. Notice one uh, thigh versus the other. And we'll switch it up. So now stretch through the left leg. I'm going to point the toe, lift it up. And then exhale through the heel and lower. Bend in the knee. My leg starts to get real heavy. My legs are heavy. Let's see if you can push through it. And last. And we'll bend the knee and place the feet on the floor. Let's take the right knee into your chest. Give a little hug. And then the left knee into your chest. And let's rock from side to side. So 
And with your hands on your knees, roll all the way around your lower back in a circle. And we'll stop in the center and go to the other side. How are we doing for time, John? Time for you, Thank you. Okay. Let's release the feet to your mat and we'll stretch them out again. Coming back up into your chest, flatten the shoulder blades, one and then the other. And then notice how that changes the connection of your back to the floor. So you may have to bend your knees again, lift and readjust. Let's stretch those legs nice and long. So move anything around you away as we're going to do some snow angels. So snow angels, right arms out and up. And at the same time, your heels are opening wide and then closing, right? Snow angels. Let me see that for a bit. People will bend in the knee or bend a little micro bend in the elbow. No anger. Next time you draw the limbs down by your side, keep them there and we'll place the feet on your mat. Okay, let's end today's session with a through the whole stretch. Now you have to pay attention for this one, it's really tricky. So we begin with our feet on the floor, so our knees are bent. And you're gonna take the right ankle and just rest it on your left thumb. With your right hand, Press on the inside of your right knee and just press it away. So that's the first part of the through the whole stretch. Now the hole that we're talking about is created by your thighs. You can see there's a little hole there. So take your right hand and put it through the hole and your left hand to the side of your left thigh and interlace them behind your left thigh. So you're gonna lift that left thigh, lift it right off the floor, there we go. Now, if lifting it off the floor creates um, any discomfort in that right hip, you can just leave it where we were when we just had the feet on the floor. So you can rock from side to side. I like to, to do some circles with my toes for the ankles, you know, don't ne never miss an opportunity. And then of course, go in the opposite direction with the circle. And when you're ready to let go of that left thigh, release and the feet on the floor. Okay, other side, left ankle on right thigh. And left hand through the hole. Lifting my right thigh, clasp your hands behind your right thigh and lift it right off the floor. Now we can rock from side to side. You can roll those ankles, draw some circles with your toes. And of course, we change the direction.
And when you're ready, go ahead and release the thigh and place your feet on the floor. Let's stretch the legs long. Do a little, a little assessment of your chest and shoulders, hips and legs. And if you can, create some space between your heels and some space between your arms and your body. So just roll those arms out. over the wave of your body to the floor. See if you can keep the breath nice and low. Down into your belly, all the way up into your heart. And filling up a glass of water from the bottom up. And as you exhale the breath, just breathe it over. Create some movement with your fingers and your toes and you wake up on the outside in. You can make some circles with your wrists and ankles. I mean, your knees and elbows. Use your hands to make a pillow and roll onto one side. And when you're ready, help yourself to walk in your hands and seated. This pose is called Easy City Pose, Sukhasana, Sukhash, sweet and um, sweet and strong, <clears throat> but for some people, so if you want to go back to your chair, you can do that. Sitting up nice and tall, don't lose that. Nice posture, your shoulders down the back, open your chest. So our heart here, um, you know, in, in our our posture in the world, I think, and I shouldn't speak for anybody but myself, but our posture in the world sometimes can be guarded, you know. So kind of opening up, right, in your heart. Keep some nice deep breaths in your belly. Nice deep breaths, beginning down low. Filling up the glass of water from the bottom up. And then the breath in the knees, pull your belly button back in towards your spine. Nice strong core. Expelling every last breath. Maybe your next breath is a little bigger, a little more open, maybe not. If you want 
few minutes. So let's do a three part breath. Right hand on your chest, left hand on your belly. And feeling that nice posture. Just notice what lifts and lowers when you breathe. So there's no rule here in how to breathe. If you can direct your in breath down below. Watch the left hand lift. And as you exhale the breath, pull the belly button in. Together, lift them way up here, and the forehead back to your heart. Bottom. 